hither wander you? Over hill, over dale, thorough bush, thorough briar, over park, over pale, thorough flood, thorough fire. I do wander everywhere, swifter than the moon sphere, and I serve the fairy queen to do her orbs upon the green. The king doth keep his revels here tonight. Take heed the queen come not within his sight. For Oberon is passing fell and wrath, because that she is her attendant hath a lovely boy stolen from an Indian king. She never had so sweet a changeling. And jealous Oberon would have the child, knight of his train, to trace the forest wild. But she perforce withholds the loved boy, crowns him with flowers, and makes him all her joy. And now they never meet in grove or green by fountain clear or spangled starlight sheen. But they do square that all their elves for fear creep into acorn cups and hide them there. Either I mistake your shape in making quite, or else you are that shrewd and knavish sprite called Robin Goodfellow. Are you not he that frights the maidens of the villagery? Those that hobgoblin call you Aunt Sweet Puck. You do their work and they shall have good luck. Are you not he? That speaks to right. I am that merry wanderer of but room fairies, here comes Oberon, and here my mistress would that he were gone. Ill met by moonlight, proud Titania. What jealous Oberon? Fairies, skip heads. I have forsworn his bed and company. Carry rash want, am I not thy lord? Then I must be thy lady. But I know when thou hast stolen away from Fairland, playing on pipes of corn and versing love to Amorous Philida. Why art thou here? How canst thou thus for shame, Titania? Glance at my credit with Apollo, knowing I know thy love for Theseus. These are the forges of jealousy, and never since the middle summer spring met we on hill, in dale, forest, or mead, to dance our ringlets to the whistling wind. But with thy brawls thou hast disturbed our sport. And through this temperature we see the seasons alter. The spring, the summer, the childing autumn, angry winter, change their wanted liveries, and the mazed world, by their increase, now knows not which is which. And this same prodigy of evils comes from our vape, from our dissension, we are their parent and original. You amended then? It lies in you. Why should Titania cross her Oberon? I do a big little changeling boy to be my henchman. Set your heart at rest. The fairy land buys not the child of me. His mother was a votaress by my order. And in the spice in the air by night, full often hath she gossiped by my side. But she, being mortal, of that boy did die. And for her sake do I rear up the boy, and for her sake I will not part with him. Give me that boy! And I will go with thee. Not for thy fairy kingdom! Fairies, away. We shall try down light if I lock her step. My gentle puck, come hither. Now rememberest the very time I saw, but thou couldst not, flying between the cold moon and the earth. Cupid alarmed, a certain aim he took. It fell upon a little western flower. Fetch me that flower the herb I shewed thee once. The juice of it on sleeping on his blade will make man alone madly dote upon the next live creature that sees. I'll put a girdle round about the earth in forty minutes. Having once this juice, I'll watch Titania while she is asleep, and drop the liquor of it in her eyes. The next thing she then waking looks upon, be it on lion, bear, or wolf, or bull, she shall pursue it with soul of love. But who comes here? I am invisible, and I shall overhear their conference. I love thee not, therefore pursue me not. Where is Lysander and fair Hermia? The one I'll slay, the other slayeth me. 
that I was told to me they were stolen under this wood. Hence, get thee gone and follow me no more. You draw me, you hard-hearted Adamon, and yet you draw the iron, for my heart is true as steel. Leave your power to draw, and I shall have no power to follow you. Do I entice you? Do I speak you fair? Or rather tell you in plainest truth that I do not nor cannot love you? And even for that do I love you the more. I am your spaniel. Only give me leave, unworthy as I am to follow you. Tempt not too much the hatred of my spirit, for I am sick when I do look on thee. And I am sick when I look not on you. I'll run from thee and hide me in the brakes, and leave thee to the mercy of wild beasts. The wireless hath not such a heart as you. Run when you will, the story shall be changed. Apollo fly, and Daphne holds the chase. I'll follow thee, and make a heaven of hell, to die upon the hand I love so well. Nymph, ere he do leave this grove, thou shalt fly him, and he shall seek thy love. Hast thou the flower there? Welcome, wanderer. Ay, there it is. I pray thee, give it me. I know a bank where the wild thyme blows, where oxes and nodding violets grows. There sleeps Titania, sometime of the night, lulled in these flowers with dances and delight. And with this juice I'll streak her eyes and make her full of hateful fantasies. Take thou some of it and seek through this grove, a sweet Athenian lady is in love. With a disdainful youth anoint his eyes, but do one the next thing he espies. Maybe the lady. Thou shalt know the man by the Athenian garment he has on. But look thou meet me here, the first cock crow. Fear not, my lord, your servant shall do so.